Hello, I'm still here on Church Street, Liverpool City Centre, on this busy Tuesday afternoon. I thought I'd do another video, and why not? Does anyone really believe the new arrivals being dispersed in our glorious city? Those who don't want to assimilate, want to dominate, right? That have got different values, ways, beliefs, standards, culture than ours. Don't want to embrace the Scouse fam, want us to embrace their fam. Does anyone really believe they sit there in front of the fire, thanking us Scousers for giving them opportunity and a future in our glorious city? And to repay that uh, hospitality, let's say, we will make sure we safeguard the inheritance meant for their children and grandchildren. We'll keep it warm for them, we'll safeguard it for them, we'll make sure it's passed down to them. Does anyone really believe that? Because you must be very, very naive if you do, and you probably need to get out more and study history. And the new arrivals are in a position they will not only be taking the inheritance that's right for our children and grandchildren, they'll be taking everything that belongs to us. That's how things work. That's how it goes, right? It's not Joe Owens making this up or being uh, or exaggerating. That's how it works. As again, study history, get out more. Come walk around these uh, culturally changed places across the country. London is an example. If Joe Owens is wrong, what's happened to London then? Go on, tell me. Well, exactly, it's been culturally changed. No more Cockney Sparrows fly over that once proud, unique city. It has been changed. Cockneys now are a dying species. Do they still exist? I don't know, right? Do we want our Liverpool to go the same way? No, we don't. Our unique scouseness is respected, it's known, it's liked the world over. In fact, it's so unique, you can't replace it. You can change it, but you can't replace it. Um, okay, sir. Brilliant, right? So you can change it, you can't replace it. We are so unique, there isn't anything un unique more than Scousers, right? And what is happening to our glorious city, like I've said, it's been culturally changed. Two more new, two many new arrivals of different ways, beliefs, values, standards, culture are being dispersed in our city. They are not embracing the Scouse fam. They don't want to, right? They want to replace it with theirs, right? Getting rather busy now. So, like I've said in previous videos, the new arrivals, they are not sitting there in front of the fire in Kensington and Fairfield or wherever, Breck Road, and say, what a wonderful bunch of people our Scousers are. Oh, what, a, what a bunch, a lovely bunch of people those Scousers are, right? Um, to show our, our respect and thanks, we're going to safeguard their children's inheritance, their children and grandchildren's inheritance, and we're going to keep it warm and safe for them and pass it down to them. Does anyone really believe that's ever going to happen, right? It's never going to happen. The new arrivals being dispersed in our glorious city, right? Those that don't want to assimilate, those that want to dominate the different values, standards, culture, beliefs, right? They will replace our unique yeah, Scouse ways. They will replace and change them. And like I've said before, once that happens, our unique Scouse character, traditions, cultural identity cannot be replaced. Once it's changed for good, there is no changing it back. It's gone forever, right? This is what people need to understand. The same has happened to London and many other towns and cities that have under gone cultural transformation i come down here i make these videos because i need to because if i don't no one else will and if i don't then we're going to lose our glorious city the change that is underway now is truly frightening it is so happening so fast it is scary it really really is it is frightening right our city has been changed 
as I speak, as I make this video, it is being changed into something completely different. It's getting really busy now, ladies and gentlemen. I'll call time because sometimes it's difficult, as I say, negotiating, negotiating in and out of people and trying to keep on track with what you're gonna say. Remember, no to cultural change, yes to Scouse pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and proud. Okay, thank you.